21.7 assists. You were pretty ice cold down the stretch. What was, you know, how did you feel going into this national game today? Uh, I felt great. Um, the whole team felt confident. Uh, coach, coach put together a great plan for us, and you know we all believed it and came out executed and was able to pull up this moment. It's great. Um, 18 scouts in attendance today. You know, do you guys know anything about that pregame? You know, how does that? Does that impact your game at all? You know, how does it feel to such performance in front of some professional eyes? I had no clue. I, I didn't know what you <laughs> just told me. <laughs> so, no, I, I don't really. I'm trying not to think about that. I don't even worry about that. Um, I don't worry about George Washington and trying to get us that win. So, Or rather, you guys dealing with their size and different matchups, obviously, but just the defensive end in general. Just how vital was that? And how did you think you guys were able to hold that against them? I mean, it's. Um, Pluto said they was one of the bigger teams in the 8 10. I mean, we didn't really. We just know we had to box out on the defensive end and get stopped. And that's what we did when of the game. There was little errors that you know, up and down the game, but I feel like we did a very good job. And then just on the offense, uh, with them having so much size, just being able to, to attack them off the dribble and, and get into the paint and, and make great decisions. Um, I think that was really good for us. And once we got stopped, getting out in transition and using our speed. You know, so. And to kind of follow up on that for you, you know, obviously we're able to get to the 10 a fair bit today. I mean, was that sort of going in a priority to you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, they're a great defensive team. So if you let them settle in, um, it's going to be really hard to score on them. So it was big for us to, um, like I said, use our speed, try to get to the rim early in the clock, um, and just try to make great decisions. And tonight, everyone was able to do that. Dave, question for both of you. You guys held them to 27% from the field in the first half. What was the approach defensively, and what was the execution to really hold it in check for much of the game? Um, I mean, we came out with a game plan, but the biggest thing was just playing as hard as we can. They got two big, two good, really big guys uh, in the post. So that was a big thing coming to the game. Um, trying to slow them down as much as possible. And then uh, we send a double or anything like that, just blasting out the shooters. And, you know, we were able to do that. But, you know, it just all boils down to uh, playing hard, really. Max, you started this game. You have two threes and two big dunks really early in the game. Uh, how important was it to come out and kind of throw that first punch, but also get the crowd in the game and start the game pounding mm -hmm. them? Oh, shout out to George Army. They showed mad love today, but JB just saw me. BA saw me, and I was just—I saw them. They was all eyes on JB and BA. I had the back door, and you know, I'm playing with one of the two best guards in the A10 in my opinion. So I know they're gonna find me. So I just play my part. For either of you, uh, you're now four and two in the A10. Uh, I know everybody wants to win the conference. Do you really think you can win this conference? 100. percent I mean, I don't see why no one in the locker room thinks we, we can't. I think it's very positive, very possible. Yeah, we just try to take it game by game, you know, not go too far ahead and think about winning the conference, just think about every day getting better and, you know, and, and everything but handle itself. Uh, JB, talk a bit about your passing today. I mean, seven assists just seems like you were passing out of every double hit for you. Just like, what was going right there? Um, just recognizing coverages and how they play me. Um, teams are going to try to get the ball out of my hands, so, you know, it's pivotal for me to make passes out of those. Um, coverages and you know I got guys like Max and Ricky and BA and you know everybody in the floor right now and they all make shots so it makes me look really well. You know, they're able to hit looks and you know it helps like looks. You guys just talked about the impact Georgia's army has and the student set student section was packed today. You got Max saw you jump up there after the game. You just talked about what they bring I mean it was a long winter break. I think I don't know how many games we had without them here but it was very like it was great to see them and they got loud and like we were, we really need them today. And they showed out. Yeah, it's always amazing to play in front of a good crowd. I mean, you know, we've been blessed this year to play in front of many good crowds, and, and tonight was one of them. We love Georgia's Army. Uh, <clears throat> seven minutes into the second half, uh, Dane starts to make a run. Uh, Holmes has a big dunk. Their crowd gets going on their side. What did you guys think of that moment? How did you kind of collect yourselves and, and turn it around? From that on, it was all you guys after that. I mean, we, we know they're a really good team. Um, Picked them in the so we know they're going to make that run. And, you know they're not going to just uh, lay down and let us, you know, blow them out or anything like that. So, you know, our mindset is just, you know, we know they're going to make a run, but you know, when they do make a run, let's withstand and um, and make a run back. And we was able to do that today. Any other questions for student athletes? All right, thanks, everyone.